about ready to get this one started. Amy Fairbairn ready to kick it off. And off we go from legendary Lambo. Oh, he's got room past the 30. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. Here comes the pack, and here comes Jordan Love. Fifth season as quarterback, but Greg just his second as a starter, waited his turn, and had a really good first year as a starter. He spent a lot of time, Mike, over these last couple days speaking to the media. And the thing that jumped out to me was just how confident he was in his team's preparation ahead of today's game. Now, only time will tell or not whether it makes a difference. But if his confidence is any indication of how they're going to perform, this could be a tough team to beat. Oh, what an inauspicious start. It's intercepted. It's the safety, Jalen Petrie. Early in the game, Mike, sometimes you just can't resist. First play, let's chuck it deep. Let's see if we can get this defense on their heels early. Well, we just saw worst-case scenario when doing just that. Not only can you not connect, the ball falls into the waiting arms of this defense, and that one shot is all you got on your opening possession. The Texans come out with the Rookie of the Year from last year in the NFL. C.J. Stroud, he was the number two overall pick, out of Ohio State, Greg, a talented quarterback here. If there's going to be a poster child for just how flawed the pre-draft process can be at times, I think this guy's at the top. I mean, just think, last year, people are nitpicking him going into his rookie year. He can't do this. He can't do that. And what does he do? He comes out and has arguably the greatest rookie quarterback season in NFL history, not only bringing his franchise back to life, but really establishing himself as one of the best quarterbacks in the entire league. Not much happening there, just a short game. Here's a second and nine. From the gun, here's Stroud. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. He decides to go with the safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. They need to get to the 29 here, facing third down. They'll run a draw with Mixon. And that call will not get it done. The defense ready, stopping him behind the line of scrimmage. It sets up fourth down. Great job by the defense here, quickly realizing that this was going to be a draw. They're not caught off guard thinking that they're defending the pass. They're able to not only get in there for a stop, but they're able to take him down in the backfield for a loss. Fourth down, and on comes Jaime Fairbairn for the Houston field goal. This will be, just inside 60, a 59-yard field goal attempt. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Texans will take a 3-0 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. So after the field goal to open up the scoring, the kicker's back out for this kickoff. On the return, here's Jaden Reed. Now an opening past the 30. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The Packers offense ready to see the football for the second time. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. On play action, Love. The catch is made. This is Tucker Kraft. 
He's close to a first down. It's a gain of nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. The quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. Here's the former Raider. They signed him back in March. It's Josh Jacobs. And he's going to have that first down across midfield and down to the 46-yard line. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. Love to throw it on first down. Completes this one. That's Christian Watson. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays. And that was a good one there. That one good for 18 yards and two the 18 yard mark. Nice pick up there by Jacobs. And I really like this signing this offseason, Mike. I mean, with the departure of Aaron Jones going to Minnesota, they know how important that backfield is alongside Jordan Love. Can he help this Packers offense take that next step forward? And certainly done his part so far. He'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Once again, it's Jacobs. And the Packers have a first and goal forthcoming. He takes this down to the five-yard line. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground and the offense is able to pick up a first down. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Trying to connect with Romeo Dobbs that time. And it'll lead to a second and goal. So instead of celebrating a touchdown, he's just heading back to his huddle, trying to keep his head up as everyone kind of looks at him sideways. If that ball hits your hands at this level, you've just got to make the catch. That's what your quarterback's counting on. That's what your teammates are counting on. Frankly, that's what this entire stadium is counting on. And he'll get three yards here down to the two-yard line. Big play coming up. Third and goal. They'll run with Jacobs. And he will take this one across into the end zone. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Green Bay. And this is what good offenses in the NFL do, Mike. It's the ability to bounce back, even if the onset of the game doesn't go exactly according to plan. Everybody wants to take their opening possession and go down there and come away with a touchdown. But it's not always going to be perfect. You turn it over on possession one, what are you going to do in response on possession two? Well, we just got our answer, and they took it down for six. Extra point by McManus, up and good. And the Packers move out to a 7-3 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. 
On the return, it's Damian Pierce. <laughs> Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. The Texans offense ready to take over for their second possession. They trail by four. A touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. the shotgun cj stroud and he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on that's incomplete he just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield i mean it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage but i think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot They'll come up to third and three. They'll try and run for this with Mixon. And he is going to have a Texans first down. It was third and three, and they picked up six. They'll go right back to Mixon. He is met and dropped. Good defense. Loss of a couple on that play. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. Stroud going to tuck this one on his own read. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back, but the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. Here's a third and ten. Now, Stroud. That ball is caught on the sideline and both feet inbounds. A big third down pickup for a first down. That's a gain of 14 and a first down. These third down conversions are just so important, Mike. Everybody stresses we want to possess the ball, give our offense as much opportunity to end as many drives as we can, scoring points. So if you want to stay on the field, you better be good on third down. Stroud to throw here on first and ten. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Stroud to throw. He'll spot his big tight end. That's Dalton Schultz. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Getting into the hands of his receiver. Ah, oh, the pressure. Too much. And he goes down. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. Work to do now as they come up on second and long.
Here's Stroud. A throw left side, but it's going to wind up incomplete. He was looking for Stephon Diggs there, and it's going to be third down. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. Throwing now on third and long. In trouble, and down he goes. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. Jaime Fairbairn coming on to try the field goal. This one from 52 yards away. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Texans are back within one. It's seven to six. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. Fairbairn, after making the field goal, heads back out to kick this one away. For the return, it's Keyshawn Nixon. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Out comes the Green Bay offense now as they get set to take over again. Their lead is just a point as they begin it on this drive with first and ten. Dobbs headed in motion. Quick throw taken in. Second and a yard. In motion, Reed. A run up the middle with Jacobs. And he's going to take this past the 45. That's good enough for a first down. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. you got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Love to throw on first and ten. To the left side in the hands of Watson. They'll come up here on second down and five. On the handoff, this is Jacob. Not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. He's got a man. That's Watson. And they're going to get this ball down to the 20-yard line. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And he'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. 
The integrity of the defense, Mike, is based on every defender holding their gap. That's exactly what we saw out of this defensive tackle. Not only did he hold his gap, he's able to shed his block and make the play. We are through one. A one-point affair, 7-6 is the score. And we're back at Lambeau Field in just a moment. They'll try again here, second and ten. From the gun, it's Love. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. From the gun, on third down, it's Love. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. Good coverage there by a good corner, Derek Stingley. I like the idea of taking your shot there on third down, pushing the ball downfield, looking for the touchdown. But now as it brings up fourth down, you're already this close. You're in field goal range, but do you keep that offense on the field and try to maintain possession and see if you can come away with six? McManus's kick is good. And the Packers extend their lead to 10 to 6. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away here's Pierce for the return and he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28 yard line the Houston offense gonna make their way back onto the field they'll do so with first and ten They'll start this one with a three tight end look. On first down, they'll start with Mixon. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. Again, they'll give it to Mixon. And he's going to get it. First down, taking this one up past the 40-yard line. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst, they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. First and 10. They will work the middle with Mixon. And it's a short pick up to about the 42. Xavier McKinney, the one who brings him down. Here's second and nine. The give, running right. It is Mixon. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back, but not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. He's got his tight end. It shoots. And he's going to be brought down inside the 15. 
If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. On the move at the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. Here's a give up the middle to Mixon. He's down inside the 10, a gain of four. Here's second and six. Out of the gun, here's a give to Mixon. He'll get about three, and that's going to lead to third down. Third down, three to go. Stroud. And the rush gets home. He'll go down. They got him. I think the most frustrating element to all of this is when you look downfield, there's guys open. There's plays to be made downfield in the passing game, but quite frankly, the pass protection has just been so bad that they haven't been able to take advantage of any of it. Jaime Fairbairn coming on to try the field goal. This a 31-yard attempt. Three for three in the game as this one is also good and the Texans cut the deficit down to one so it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive but at the same time you don't want to come away empty-handed either so in this case they'll take those three points Baron after making the field goal heads back out to kick this one away this returnable with Reed and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line Josh Jacobs and the Packers offense heading back onto the field they'll see if they can put something together here beginning with first and ten It's Jacobs to start the drive. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. They'll run it straight ahead with Jacobs. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. This is what every defense in the league is shooting for, Mike. Negative plays. That's how you kill drives. Force teams to play from behind the sticks. Great job here. Taking him down for a loss. Dobbs headed in motion. He's going to go deep. Looking for Reed. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. A fair catch signaled, and they'll have it just outside their own 20. The Texans offense getting set to get back to work. The deficit is one as they'll search now for that go-ahead score.
Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. They'll run with Mixon. And he'll bring this to about the 25. Andrew and Cooper, the rookie, is there on the tackle. Look him up on a second down and eight. A run here with Mixon. The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. The speed and the get off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Third down and nine. They'll run a draw with Mixon. And he'll work his way forward to about the 30-yard line. So, fourth down, and it's the former Chief, Tommy Townsend, to punt for Houston. Out to return this for the Packers, it's Keyshawn Nixon. And this is going to be a beauty. Touchdown at the two-yard line. The Packers offense ready to get back at it. They are backed up about as far as you can be, operating from their own two-yard line. So they come to the line for first down and 10. They'll start on the ground with Jacobs. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. In motion, Reed. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll be stopped at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. Here's Jacobs. Changing direction there as he's able to pick up three. Here's a third down and four. Love. That's caught. Left side. It's complete. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play understand where the he works free right side and what an effort after the catch he goes all the way 84 yards touchdown green bay McManus on for the point after. The kick is good. And the Packers are going to open up the lead to eight.
Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here's Pierce for the return. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Texans offense make their way out to take over once more. The deficit is eight as this drive begins with first and ten. begin on the ground and here's Mixon and nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage and that is it defensive coaches preach every day Mike swarm to the ball get as many hats to the ball carrier as possible and this is a great reason why the ball carrier is able to make the first guy miss but it was the pursuit from the rest of the defense that's able to get him down and keep him to no gain and that's going to be incomplete coverage was good that time the contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field that is the most valuable real estate on the field they know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes so give credit they took away all the throwing lanes and that ball falls incomplete and that is incomplete Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender, and you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete, but if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. To return, it's Nixon. And he'll be brought down. Short return. And they'll take over there. Here's Christian Watson and the rest of the Packer offense heading back onto the field. And it may be time for this defense to start throwing a second defender at him, maybe. Look at what he's done. Whatever the defense has tried in the first half, it hasn't worked. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. Go play action with Love. He's going to go deep. Looking for Reed. Good coverage there by a good corner. Derek Stingley. I think at some point for this quarterback, he has to start looking some other directions. I mean, he's tried to get the ball now to this guy multiple times, and all of them have resulted in incomplete passes. I'm not saying don't throw it to him in the future, but maybe get yourself a couple easy completions elsewhere before you look back in his direction. Yeah, and he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. The offensive line doing a great job opening these run lanes. They have been there this entire first half, and I think if I'm this play caller, until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away, I think I'm just going to keep turning around and handing it to that guy. Here's first and ten. Once again, it's Jacobs. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. Two minutes remain here in this first half. Back with more from Lambeau Field after this. Here's a second and nine. Love to throw. A quick slap roped in by Watson. Now a third and two. Here's Love. He'll try and get there on the ground. Give him 11 on the scramble. And give them a new set of downs. 
great job here by the quarterback on third and short, knowing that if nothing's there downfield, he can pick this up with his legs. And not only is he able to pick up the first down, he gets a whole lot more than that. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Oh, trying to set up the screen, but that is going to fall incomplete. So on a day where he's completed, give or take half of his passes, Mike, you have to imagine there's a handful of throws he'd like to have back, and I think that last one falls in that category. But the biggest thing, and most fortunately for them, they find themselves with a lead despite a bit of an up-and-down performance out of their quarterback. A second down throw for Love. Here's a screen taken in by Jacobs. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. The Packers go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Third and five. To throw is Love. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Packers going to tack on three more, extending the lead here late in the first half. So anytime an offense comes off the field after settling for three, you always have to take the good with the bad. In order to get down there in field goal range, you had to do something positive to move the ball. But at the same time, how are we going to be able to finish these drives and convert for six the next time we get down there? Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Texans offense going to see what they can do in the final minute of this first half. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. From the gun, here's Stroud. Open man, Xavier Hutchinson. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Here's Strap. He completes it to Hutchinson. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. To throw is Stroud. Field by Diggs. Texans going to use the last of their timeouts here. And they stop it with 19 seconds to go in this opening half. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. He can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. 
Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and 10. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. Can be fair, Baron, coming on to try the field goal. They'll spot this at their own 48, meaning this is a 62-yard attempt. This one runs out of steam off the crossbar and comes back. No good. And this stays a two-score game. You have to give him credit, Mike. I mean, that shows a lot of faith in your kicker because that is an ambitious effort from that distance. They'll run out of the gun with Jacobs. Not much there. Maybe a yard. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they get the timeout. Second down, Jacobs. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. Halftime now at Lambeau. And the Packers are on top. As we'll get you down to Orlando now, that's where the coach is, Jonathan Coachman, and our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports Halftime report. It was the Packers' leading man, quarterback Jordan Love, who turned in a solid performance in that first half. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. All right, Coach, second half, drawing near. Glad to have you back with us here on EA Sports. Both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. Here's Pierce for the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. They'll run on first down with Mixon. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. At this point in the game, Mike, we just haven't seen a lot of fire out of this offense. Here's another run. Simple handoff. No game. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Throwing from the pistol. Stroud. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. On third down, they'll set up to throw. They try to work the screen with Mixon. That screen goes for 12, and that's a first down. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. 
Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. So first and 10 here now at the 38. On the give, this is Mixon. And the defense was ready for him this time. Did not have the same room to run. That one's no game. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground. Like, there was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. And here's the first carry for the power back, Damian Pierce. And they get him to the ground, but he's all the way down to the 35-yard line. Man, how nice is it to have a guy like this? He's your backup running back, but he's kind of a change of pace. He's got that home run ability, and he showed it there. That was a heck of a run. From the 35, it's first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Mixon. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. This play here, Mike, is just all about the get-off of the defensive line. Watch how fast they go when that ball is snapped. Nowhere for this running back except to go down for a loss. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Throwing is Stroud. And nothing doing on that one. He'll go down behind the line. I think this play is a direct result of his film study. He knew exactly where that ball was going before the play was snapped. And that play recognition, man, it separates a lot of guys in this league and it results in a negative play. Back to throw. Stroud. That'll be taken in by Mixon. And they were hoping for a little more on that one. Brought down well short of the first. It'll bring up fourth down. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. Fair Barron's kick is good. And the Texans are able to get it back within a score. Baron after making the field goal heads back out to kick this one away this returnable with Reed and he'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drive the Packers offense running back Josh Jacobs heading back on the field and you have to imagine the defense is saying how do we stop this guy he has run roughshod through him to this point in the third quarter Set to go now on first and 10. On play action, Love. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. That quarterback called that play in the huddle. That ball was only going to one guy. He was the first read, the second read, and the check down. And it was called to perfection. They got the perfect look. It led to a nice game. On second down, Love. Quick throw, taken in. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. These curl routes, he's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. And a short pickup, too. About the 42-yard line.
here's a handoff to Jacobs. And he'll pick his way forward, a gain of about five. And that's going to set up third down. the shotgun it's love uh, nowhere to get away and he's gonna go down through the first half it was clear this pass protection this offensive line unit they were clearly up for the challenge the pass rush was non-existent but here in the second half you can sense a little bit more urgency you can see them start playing with a little more speed and intensity and it pays off there with their first sack of the day On comes the Packers punting team as he's on to punt for the second time. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20-yard line. The visitors' offense ready for this next possession. They'll start it here with a first and ten. And the defense all over this one. They knock them down. It'll go down as a loss of two. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. Throwing on second down. Stroud. Oh, in trouble. Down he goes. The defensive coaches, they preach all week, Mike. They have to have relentless pursuit of this quarterback when he tries to extend the play. So often, it results in a great play for the offense in a big pickup. This time, because of that pursuit, it leads to a big loss. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. Now, Stroud. He'll try to hit him with a screen. They pick up a nice chunk play there through the air on third down, but it's not quite enough to move the chains. Now the question is, how aggressive is this head coach willing to be as he tries to extend this drive? The Texans getting all set to punt. Fair catch is called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. The home team's offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And as you take a look at the numbers, you have to imagine he was the topic of conversation in that locker room at halftime. they got to find a way to slow him down. Nothing they've done has worked so far. They'll come up here. First and ten. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And a short pickup there to about the 36. Second down and eight. up the middle with Jacobs and he'll take this up past the 40 a pick up a five
They'll come up to third and three. We'll try to run it here with Jacobs. It's a pickup of 13 yards. First down, Packers. Pretty much just more of the same from what we saw with this back in the first half. And he doesn't need much. He gets a little bit of space, and then he can create the rest. It's the combination of patience, vision, and then the burst to hit the hole once he sees it. This guy's been a handful all day. On first down, it's Love. This one, up top for Dobbs. So I like the aggressiveness of the call, but as the rest of the game unfolds, Mike, there needs to be better overall execution. A little bit cleaner. The next thing you know, they're going to hit some of those big shots. They'll try again here, second and ten. Back to the air, it's Love. He's going to run it. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Here's third and two. They'll run it straight ahead with Jacobs. And he's going to have the first down. They'll mark him at the 29, but it's a new set of downs. First down picked up. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. From the gun, here comes Jacobs. And he brings it down to about the 28-yard line. Jalen Petrie up to make the tackle. Here's second and nine. They'll run with Emmanuel Wilson. And he nearly got free. But as it is, gain of six, and it sets up third down. From the gun, it's Love. He's got a man. That's Watson. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. run the draw with Jacobs trying to find some place to go but nothing developing tackled behind the line it's a loss of one anytime the running back is forced to chop his feet in the background and never get to top speed you know that play's not going anywhere and that's exactly what the defense was able to force here by getting penetration great job there stopping this play before he had a chance to even get started so three quarters now in the books you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and 11. Here's Love. The pressure gets there, and down he goes. A sack. Outside of a turnover, this was probably the worst-case scenario. Immediate pressure in his face with nowhere to go with the ball downfield. Just get the ball out of your hand. Live to play another down. Instead, he retreats backwards and leads to a massive loss.
Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. On the ground, it's Jacobs. The defense is willing to just give up that run every single time. I mean, they're going to leave guys as far back as they can to protect the sticks. And in this case, flow to the ball, make an open field tackle, get off the field. So here comes Brandon McManus in a pressure situation. This to make it a two-possession lead. And this one right down the middle. It's good. And that could be big. They now take a two-score advantage. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Here's Steven Sims to return it. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The visitors' offense ready to see what they can do. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. They'll stick to the ground. He's inside the 40. And he is unstoppable. He goes all the way. 71 yards. Touchdown, Houston. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Now a big spot here for the Texans as they'll try for two. Stroud going to set up to throw. And he will get into the end zone. The two-point conversion is successful. And game on. Lead is down to three here in the fourth quarter. So they've cut into the lead. Now just a field goal behind as they kick it off. Here's Nixon on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Packers offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. On the ground it's Jacobs to start the drive nice job finding the seam gain of about nine just a yard short of that first down a good spot here second and a yard in motion Reed off the play fake 
Here's Love. This one is caught by Reed. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself in your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. We've seen this back have his way with this defense all game long, Mike. He's up over 100 yards for the game, but this time the defense said, we've had enough. They sold out to stop him. They hold him to no gain. Throwing on second down, Love. Over the middle, he fits it into Dobbs. Bold decision there by this quarterback to attack a guy who's already made you pay for challenging him earlier today. He trusted his guy to not only win, but to defeat man coverage, and I think he got away with one there. Here's a third down and four. Back to throw is Love. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. When you get the ball in this situation, what you're looking to do is not only end the drive with a touchdown to put the game away, but you'd love to chew up some clock. So with that incomplete pass now likely putting an end to this series, that's a big opportunity for them to try to close this game out. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. The Texans' offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. From the gun, here's Stroud. A short throw pulled in by Schultz. They'll mark them down up at the 44-yard line. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. They'll run. Whoa! That is 14 for the second time. Back-to-back 14-yard -back gains and a first down. First down pickup by Mixon, and he's one of the Texans' many additions this offseason. It's pretty incredible to think, Mike, in only his second year as the head coach, the roster that D'Amico Ryans continues to assemble. Not only is Mixon still a productive back in his own right, but he should take a lot of pressure off C.J. Stroud. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll only manage to pick up three yards. And that leads to third down. They'll go play action with Stroud. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by the rookie out of Georgia. When you find yourself in this situation, Mike, you're on defense, you're defending your own goal line, you've got to take some chances. You've got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. The Packers offense and receiver Christian Watson set to go once more. They'll begin with first and ten.
to throw is Love. Toward the middle, that one caught by Watson. And he's going to be taken down at the 37. This is a tale as old as time, Mike. It seems that any time a team forces a takeaway, fumble or interception, the ensuing drive starts with a shot, a deep play in the air to try to seize on some of that momentum. We just saw a great example of it here. Under pressure, and down he goes. They got him. Daniil Hunter, pass rusher extraordinaire, in action again. Hunter wasn't going to be denied on that one, Mike. And here's a guy that even though he's found a new home here in Houston, and what can we say about this defense that D'Amico Ryans continues to put together, but he continues to produce at the same level we've come to expect from him 16 and a half sacks a year ago, and he adds another one right here. They'll run with Jacobs. Mm-hmm. And that's a good game there. It's going to wind up just a couple of yards shy of that first down. You know, there's all this talk, Mike, about the value of the run game in today's NFL. You know when the run game matters? It matters right now. Fourth quarter, you've got the lead. Can you lean on your running back and offensive line to close this game out? On third down, they go with Jacobs. And that is going to be good enough. He's got that first down. So conversion, and they move it to the 46-yard line. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And a determined run there inside the 40. It's a gain of nine yards. Second and a yard. Man in motion is Watson. A good play action with Love. And that one is complete along the boundary. Good job of getting those feet in back. Well, that was a nice looking grab. Really nice footwork there on the sideline to stay in bounds. But after all that, it's still not going to result in very much. Here's third down and a few inches. Here's Jacobs. Jacobs, first down and more. And he will take this all the way down to the Packers' 10-yard line. A big one there on third down, good for 26 yards. And this is the point of the game, Mike, where you really can start leaning on your run game and try to close this game out. You've got the lead, you're in the fourth quarter, and they're able to pop off a big run. carry here for Wilson he'll get inside the 10 to the 8 yard line in motion read on second down Jacobs not a lot of room to work there well played by the defense and they set themselves up for third and goal now love and the rush too strong. They're in there in a flash for the sack. With the right personnel, the safety position is like the ultimate chess piece, right? You can put him in center field to play pass. You can bring him up and make him a pseudo linebacker, but you also can bring him on pressure, Mike, and that's what this guy does so well. The timing and the speed, he got there in a hurry. So here comes Brandon McManus in a pressure situation. This to stretch the lead 
to more than a field goal. And this one right down the middle. It's good. So it is still a one-score game, but a little more breathing room now. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through and they get three. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. On the return, here's Sim. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. Here's first and 10. They'll drop to throw. He'll get this one to his safety valve. Complete. 13 yards to start that drop. And a quick first down. And now we're at the point of the game, Mike, where someone has to step up and make a play. That's exactly what this quarterback and his receiver did. It gives them now a fresh set of downs and a chance to go down and make this game very interesting. On first down, it's Stroud. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, like, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. On second down, Stroud. He completes it to Hutchinson. And he is out of bounds all the way down at the 35-yard line. That's good for 27 and a first down. And now, after that catch, they've got a chance here late, Mike. They've got enough time to try to move this thing down. I think they can win the game on this possession. Plenty of time. All three timeouts left. It's first and ten. Throwing is Stroud. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. All right, so this is why you get paid the big bucks. These are the possessions as a quarterback you need to deliver for your team. Everybody talks about two-minute. Everybody drills it every single week. But when it comes down to this moment in the game, your quarterback needs to be on point. And after that first down incompletion, it just makes things that much harder. I don't mind the play call, Mike. We've seen him on this possession have a lot of success through the air. So now you try to change it up and think the defense is selling out to stop the pass. Just try to sneak a draw in there. Not much luck. We're able to take it down for a loss. From the gun here on third down, it's Stroud. A throw on the move is caught. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down mark. And after that completion, they don't have enough to move the chain. So it's all going to come down to this. If they want any opportunity to go down and kick themselves a field goal, they've got to convert here on this fourth down. They need their best play. So you roll the dice on offense and you fail. But now you can't give up. Your defense has to go out there and get a stop. You have all three timeouts. You have time to get the ball back one more time on offense. So now your defense needs to answer the bell and give your offense one more shot. So they come to the line for first down and 10. They'll start on the ground with Jacobs. The Texans going to go ahead and use their first time out here. And they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in this one. Let's go. 
Once again, it's Jacobs. Oh. And finally, they'll bring him down, but he's up beyond the 45-yard line. Love will take a knee, and that ought to do it. Texans going to use the last of their timeouts here, and it comes with 36 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. formation here as he's down to a knee So, it's a win for the Packers. They were the aggressors from the start, able to dictate the pace of play. And in the end, they come away with the victory. So, that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Packers are winners, as we say so long from legendary... Lambeau Field.